Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is percent word problems. We have eight examples worked out for you step by step. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one deals with the percent of a total. It says there are 40 dogs at the canine dog rescue. 65% of these dogs have been there longer than a month. How many dogs have been at the rescue longer than a month? So the key words in this problem are 65% of these dogs. Of indicates multiplication, and these dogs refers to the 40 dogs from the beginning of the problem, the total number of dogs at the kennel. So I'm going to multiply 65% in decimal form, which is 0.65, times the 40 dogs total that are at the kennel. If I multiply 0.65 times 40 and punch that into a calculator, I get the answer 26. So that means 26 dogs have been at the canine dog rescue longer than a month. Problem number two deals with the percent of a number. It says you would like to leave a 15% tip on your lunch bill. If the meal cost $18.20, how much should you leave for the tip? So this problem is similar to the first problem where we want to find 15% of the lunch bill, which in this case is $18.20. Of indicates multiplication, so I'm going to multiply 15% in its decimal form, 0.15, times the bill for the meal, which is $18.20. If I type that into a calculator, I find out the tip that I should leave is $2.73. Problem number three deals with sales tax and a final price. It says a dog house costs $124 at the local pet store. If sales tax is 8.5%, find the final price after the sales tax is included. So first I'm going to find out how much money the sales tax will be. I want 8.5%, I'll write that as a decimal, 0 0.085 times the price of the doghouse, which is $124. If I punch that into a calculator, I find out that the sales tax amount is going to be $10.54. Now I can take the $124 that the doghouse cost and add the sales tax of $10.54. And if I add those together, I find out that after sales tax, the doghouse will cost $134.54. Now there is a shortcut way to do this. If I think about the $124 as 100% of the price and the sales tax as 8.5% of the price, I can add those two together and find out that I would have being paid 108.5% of the price of $124, which means I could multiply 1.085 times the $124 and directly find the final price of $134.54. So you could do the problem in two steps, first finding the tax, then adding them together, or you can add the percentages together, multiply it by the price of the doghouse, and you'll find the same answer of $134.54. Problem number four deals with discount and finding a final price. It says as part of a pet owner's reward program, you receive a 20% discount on the next item purchased at the local pet store. You decide to buy a new dog bed priced at $34.25. How much will you pay after the discount, assuming that there's no sales tax? So I have a 20% discount. I need to find 20% of the price, which is $34.25, to find out how much the discount will be. So like the other problems, I'm going to multiply 20% in its decimal form, 0 0.20, times the price, which is $34.25. When I punch that into a calculator, I find out that that's going to be $6.85. So that will be my discount. So I'm going to take the $34.25, and I'm going to subtract out the $6.85 that I will save for my discount and find out that the dog bed will cost me $27.40. Similar to the last problem, we can also use a shortcut. 
If we say that $34.25 is the full price or 100% of the price and subtract out the discount, which is 20%, I would find out I'm paying 80% only on the total price. And I can just do one multiplication, 80% in decimal form, 0 0.80, times the $34.25 that the dog bed would cost. And again, I'll get the same answer of $27.40. So, just like the last problem, you could do it in two steps, find the savings and subtract it out to find the answer, or you could subtract out the percents and then just multiply it by the original price to find your answer. Problem number five deals with percent increase. It says, at the dog toy factory, during the first week of March, 344 toys were produced. For the last week in March, 559 dog toys were produced. Find the percent increase in production from the first week to the last week in March. So percent increase has a formula. You take the new amount and you subtract out the old amount. Then you divide that by the old amount. That will give you a decimal. And then you multiply that by 100 to give you the percent increase. So the new amount is 559 dog toys minus the old or original amount, which is 344 dog toys, divided by 344, which was the original amount. And after I find that value, I'll multiply it by 100. So if you punch 559 minus 344 into a calculator, you get 215. So 215 divided by 344 will give you 0. 625. And the last step then is to take that decimal number and multiply it by 100 to express it as a percentage. When you multiply by 100, you're changing two place values. So we'll multiply and change two place values and find out that the percent increase is 62.5%. Problem number six deals with percent added over time. It says last year in Dogtown, the dog population was 60 dogs. This year, there are 30% more dogs than last year. How many dogs are in Dogtown this year? So first, I'm going to have to find 30% of the original number of 60 dogs. Similar multiplication to what we've been doing in the other problems, I'm going to take 30% written as a decimal, 0.30, and multiply it by the original amount of 60 dogs. 0 0.30 times 60 is 18. So that means there's an increase of 18 dogs. So all I have to do is add that to the original 60 dogs plus 18 more dogs this year, and 60 plus 18 will give me 78 dogs in Dogtown this year. Problem number seven deals with commission earned on sales. It says working at an electronics store, you earn a 3.5% commission on all of your sales for the week. If your sales for last week were $1,580, how much money did you earn in commissions? So you should see a pattern emerging now. We're going to find 3.5% of the value number, which in this problem is $1,580. So I'm going to write 3.5% as, as a decimal form, which would be 0 0.035. And I'm going to multiply that by the sales for the week, which would be 1,580. If I punch that into a calculator, 0 0.035 times 1,580, I would find the commissions earned for the week would be $55.30. Problem number eight also deals with commission, but this time you're asked to find the original price. It says Cypress earned $134.28 in commissions on the sale of a new doggy treadmill. If her commission rate is 7.2%, determine the price of the treadmill that she sold. So I'm looking for the total price in this problem, and unlike the others which involve multiplication, this will involve division. I'm going to take the $134.28, and this time I'm going to divide it by the 7.2% in decimal form, which would be 0 0.072. If I punch that into a calculator, 134.28 
divided by 0 0.072, I will get 1865, which means the original price of the doggy treadmill was $1,865. So that's it. Eight examples of percent word problems worked out step by step. Keep working hard. Don't ever give up. You can definitely do this if you put in the time and effort. Or as we say at Math Dogs, you got this. Woo!